Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, do gonna start part four. Um, I thought I was gonna start doing weathering today, but I, I completely forgot. Yeah, probably a good idea to put the the panels, the different colored panels, on first. So, you know, you, your brain starts thinking ahead as to what what you're gonna do, weathering wise. But you forget you gotta do the panels and probably going to do this dark and add some panels in there um so it's not just all white uh right now i have just taped off up top here so i can get this square and i'm going to work on other squares too um just getting a couple of these done um i don't use new tape i used to when i was first beginning i used to just use a whole new piece of tape just to get one block but that ticket's expensive so start reusing tape because i actually to be honest watched john simmons video one time i was like he keeps reusing the same tape and kind of goes against what i wanted like my head thinking i need to but um so yeah i'm just gonna paint uh, and Right now I have two airbrushes going. I have uh, this is light reefer, light reefer, and then some dark reefer on the bottom to make it like faded and two tone. Um, I think on, I think for all the other individual squares I'll probably just go dark reefer. Um, hopefully not too dark. So uh, it's kind of hard. Like, I want to do different. Like, I didn't want to do, like, the same colors, the same squares. But it's kind of hard not to because there's only a couple squares on here. So, like, see? There's only a few. So, it don't. it's not like you can really reinvent the wheel here. Um, like, don't want to copy other people's work. But sometimes it's just, I don't know. There's squares that got to be painted. Just, uh, I'm trying to go, oh, by the way, uh, I wasn't sure what color I was going to use on the blocks, on the, on the panels. So I made a little cheat sheet uh, with different colors. Like I went with Stormy Sea, Light Reefer, Dark Reefer, and SP Lettering on top of my black and white. Um, I took a piece of styrene paint primed it black then painted it with reefer white and then taped it off so i could see what would look good i kind of like that but it's a little too maybe i'll add a little bit of blue onto this to, to some of these just to give it a tint of blue but sometimes with reefer you need to spray it with um sp lettering or grime it turns a bluish i may add some blue into there because i'm trying to keep Try to keep it like cool grays um, instead of just like warm grays. Where the warm grays are, are you know, like um, dark lark and light lark, but the reefers are light, are, are cool grays. Did I say that right? Yeah, warm grays are the light and dark reefer, dark um, lark and cool grays are the reefers. Uh, I used to. Usually, used to use paint with um, uh, Copic markers, and you would work in um, light and uh, warm and warm and um, cool grays. So, come on, spray. There we go. Dry tip. Dry tip. Always fun. All right, and we'll move over to the other side. I'm. A little shocked that people are interested in watching this um i mean i understand like learning weathering um procedures like not procedures but techniques um this is like the base coats and stuff it's pretty basic i mean it's just trial and error really um this probably is boring but people have said they like it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to do new stuff for, for for people to learn. Appreciate all the 
encouragement. I really, really do. Um, because like I said, this is kind of nerve wracking on my own. You know, I, I had, I have my friends from Rogue One and Jason and John starting over, starting a new channel. A little, not nerve wracking, but just like, what, what if people don't give a shit? <laughs> but it's all right. It's talking out loud. Because taping is not fun to watch. And then, like, I want to block off that little panel, that little uh, breebly there. So we'll just uh, go over it and spray down. Spray straight on. It'll, let me get a scissor. Let's just hold this. Yeah, you can see this. So I'm just going to paint and keep the camera on. What the heck? Just so you know, it isn't just going to be, the channel is not just going to be me painting shit. It's going to be, you know, we're going to have guests on. Um, I'm looking into like next week having some guests. I really would like to paint that, those little manhole covers somehow. Um, let's see if we can just do maybe little square down there for now i might have to hit topically hand brush those those um c lab parts on there those little c lab handles i like those they're all over the sand crawler they're all over well i don't know what else they're on, but there's a bunch of them on the sand crawler i don't know why but i like c lab parts right marvin marvin ain't watching Yeah, just quick tape, quick spray. Here we go. We'll do the next one. Just little bits at a time. I get my best work done in the morning. When every well, during the week, but um but on the weekends when the whole house is quiet. And nobody's awake and they don't get interrupted by dad and hey take the trash out <laughs> nobody bothers me oh. for a little while this this blue tape this blue tape doesn't stick so great sometimes it's aggravating because it causes like overspray or not to be clean lines that didn't come out so nice. Did not come out great. Did not. And if you don't get the tape right on the panel line, oh, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Sore thumb. Just is. You can really tell when you mess up those panel lines, even if it's just a little sliver on one side. Mm. Oh, it's going to be darker. Oh, well. Uh, let's see, where else? Um... I want to do the other side soon, but I got these little. No, be a pain in the butt. Oh shoot! You know, I just noticed. Fine. Bugger. Okay. No. Some little ones on the side here. Little, 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 little. Not going to be easy to do. My eyesight is not the best. Plus, there's a real little line in between there.
Yeah, and the more I act, the more it's starting to look like something. First coming to light. Let's just blow that for a little bit so it stays. Doesn't pull off with the next one. Do that little one red on the back. Sorry, guys, my head's turned to the camera. If you are on and are commenting, can't see. Well, maybe make sure you guys can see at least. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, so I want to paint these. Uh, maybe that hard. Let's just start there. We'll get new tape for these. These, these got the middle's got to stay a little on there. I guess I understand a little bit. That people want to watch this because I remember when I was first learning to paint, I was watching John Simmons's videos. So and going back and fast forward and rewinding because I want to see like what he was doing. Um, there, yeah, weird line. Yeah, once I get to the weathering, I'll show a little bit more, talk a little more about what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to do with just taping, but I'm gonna put it on put it on camera just in case. Yeah. It's hurt. Probably should be a little bit more conscientious of how I'm taping. I'm gonna have to go back and fix it once I don't once I mess it up. Yeah, like see that? This tapes does not stick. I don't know why. Freaking annoying. Get on there. I don't want to try to get well I don't that's just try to keep the edge white. It's like it's like a whitish gray. I was really going for more of a hot look to it. Boy, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Wow, there's actually three people watching. I cannot believe it. <laughs> That's right, man. That's what I'm doing. I'm slapping it on. Andy, we got to get you on soon, brother. I'm looking forward to having you on, on the show. Jason and I talked about it a lot. And something we really want to get happen. I may use some some latex on those on those white parts of the ribs. Ribs don't really want those to get dull. Really don't want those to stay whitish. If I can, yeah, let's do that. So I use these rubber tip um, applicators. Uh, I forget. I've seen a bunch of people suggest them. So 
I don't want this to not flow into that right there. See the ribs? Where the ribs are at? I don't want it to not flow in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of. Get it in there, ribs. Keep that white. Can't possibly tape in there. So we're just going to throw a little latex. Blow dry it so it stays. So it dries. That's got to get changed. Here. I guess maybe I should have taped all. I can't really. I used to, with my Falcon, I used to tape the whole thing. And then paint it, uh, which doesn't work so well. Because <laughs> you got to like move things around and get blocks that are underneath. Um, let's, see, let's put some on there. It's a little easier. So it's also good. It has a little push tip, too. You can just push things into place sometimes. Sometimes they stick and sometimes they do not. All right. I think we're ready to spray that. I think. Dry stuff. I'm spray that. Surprisingly, I don't have a whole bunch of stuff in here blocking my way. Get it before all the tape comes off. Okay. Here it goes. Tip is kind of a pain in the butt because I can't turn it so well. All right, let's see how that looks. Let's see how that looks. A lot of taping, but it'd be worth it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah baby. Right. Right. Let's see if we can get that out of there. We can get that out later. I really want to take the tape off the cool shade and get an idea what it looks like, but I'm just not going to yet. There's no reason to take it off yet, so I'm going to want to have to reapply it later. All right, more blocking, more painting. Uh, a couple more, not too many more. 
Um, just make these gray in the back. These in the back here. The vents. Uh, I can control this Iwata better than I can the trigger finger. Uh, John told me that, that um, Lee Roth uses a trigger finger mostly. I haven't noticed in his videos, but um, I feel like I can't control it as well. Yeah, he's, everybody's running. Now, see, look, there's these blocks, these panels in the back. I got to get somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Probably just going to have to topically do it. I don't like that. I don't really want to see it without the cool shade, but we'll just wait. All right, more. Let's see, we got that whole side. Now we're going to do something back here. I know John did this whole second half back here. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do? I got to break that up. How do I break that up? That's great. Just do it. And I'll just do just do this. Try to see this line. I better go all the way in. Yeah. Probably should have painted this before I put it on. But. Not easy. Come on, bitch. In there. There we go. And this one. Oh, let's do the light and the reef. Light and dark again. No light. Start with light. And then dark on the bottom. Just to look like it's faded. Like flick it up so it's like not just uniform, probably too much, but yeah, not bad. I hope you can see that. Actually, I think you can. Oh, there are people watching. Just throw some paint on it. This is a nice way some of those do the work and try to predict your coloring bright orange, perhaps. That's a good idea, Mar uh. on like some of the some of the squares instead of red do <laughs> you're watching this from work <laughs> okay <laughs> okay right, let's see here been around to the other side i think i got everything i want to get on here i'll get this later with, a, with you know try to make that a little bit darker like a little bit set out um the other side. And kind of repeat of what I'm going to do on this side. Uh, I guess I'll start with the big, the big uh, square first. That's the one I see the most. Try to reuse some tape, but no long pieces. I need new pieces, new pieces of tape. So, uh, man, you know you're. Uh, you're sitting here watching this at work. Good Lord. You must be bored. <laughs> it was fun doing it the other day with John. That that actually was a lot of fun. Um, couldn't see what he was doing. But he made that, that ghost shine. 
I'm not a fan of it. I I I've said it. I I liked Rebels, but I never liked you need to see my line. Um I was never a fan of the ghost or or the crew. Um people love the crew. That's your thing, great. Um but I liked when there was uh like characters like Ahsoka and Darth Maul and um, Thrawn. Thrawn. Thrawn was banging. He was awesome. But John made that thing look so sweet. Still doesn't make me want to buy one though. <laughs> I almost bought the Hazlab. Because I thought, you know what? A lot of people like this. Maybe I'll just buy it and paint it. And if somebody wants to buy it after I painted it, great. I did that. I've started that with the Razor Crest. I have a Razor Crest, Haslab Razor Crest that I got off Steve. And um, uh, started painting it. I put it down because I got a bunch of other things I want to do more. All right. And we'll start with the Light Reefer. You're not spraying so good. Andy, you suffer from dry tips. Oh my God, it's frustrating. Won't back on it. Back on it before my tape comes off. This top. Okay, I it sticks real good all over the place. But this edge. Ooh. My tape just does not want to stick here at all. Not at all. We gotta work fast. And I almost never spray uniformly. I don't know. It just for me, it just stands out when it's too uniform. See, this stupid ass piece of tape just will not stay down. Man, that's frustrating. So let's do the dark. I'm gonna miss you know what happened last time. Let's put some tape down lower because the mist was got a lot, got it down a little further, got it down low a little bit. So we're gonna try to avoid that. All right. Spray down so so it sprays up. I'm actually spraying on the tape so that the mist gets up top instead of spraying on the spot so that the mist actually gets it. But then occasionally I'll just like go up a little bit so it's darker. Maybe like around these parts here. Yeah. No, you really can't see my greebly in there. Some of the glue got in the spot. Oh well, too late now. Going on there. We don't want it too dark. See how it's patchy? I hope you can see how it's patchy. Yeah. No dry tips here, only when I let off the air before the paint. Really? You can run into a lot. Let's see how that looks. I used to do this on my kitchen table. Surprising. And um, I don't know how I did this on the kitchen table because it's hard enough right here. Yeah. Not bad at all. I'm happy with that. I didn't um I didn't redo it, Andy. I left it as is. Let's get rid of some of this tape so it's not going to I have got to move that out here. Um yeah, that turned out good. I like that. A little more around those greeblies. Maybe just a tad more. Mm. Yeah. 
when I put the first one on, I thought, oh, I don't know how I feel about it. But then now that I'm adding more blocks, more painted blocks, see, you still find some liquid latex. I didn't get off right there. Now that I'm adding more blocks, you gotta get the latex out of there then too. Um, starting to like come together a little bit, tie it in. I really was thinking I wanted to do the um, stormy sea. And you know what? Maybe I will instead of red blocks maybe i'll do stormy sea blocks like um some of the highlights some of the red triangles and stuff that andy did These little squares are a little bit of a pain in the butt. I would like to say I should have painted them beforehand, but gluing these suckers on was not the easiest. Well, the glue in this part on was easy, but then once I got up here, that was where the hard part started. Man, Andy, figuring out greeblies for that area. Whew. I guess I remember I decided just to scratch it then. Right. Hey, you know what? Stormy Sea triangles and stuff is going to be actually the bomb. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this all cool grays because it's hot. Um, it's a hot tank. So I'm going to try to keep it hot. All right. Not there. And I think I'm good. I'm trying to think where I can do blue. All right. Let's do that back. And then we will. Move on to something else. Um, monkeys. Right, do the bottom. Try and make sure I do the same thing on the same side. I am so looking forward to taking that tape off back there. And seeing how it looks when it's lit up, closed in with the, I really am looking forward to seeing that. But I can't take it off until I have it totally misted. Totally done. That'll be like the last thing that I do. Because I don't want to mess up that clear plastic window. Yeah, that worked better than last time. Oh. I should have maybe scribed these lines a little bit more. I can't see them very well. My fault. Sometimes you're so excited that you just move on to something. And you're like, oh, shit, I should have did that. <laughs> that would have made my life a whole lot easier if I'd have done that first. But, yeah. all right, so we're going light again to start. Let's just help this mix it a little bit. And spring light. Light. Dark. Let's try that. Yeah. All right. 
Eh, maybe a little more on the bottom. We won't tape the whole thing. We'll just get close to the bottom a little better. A little bit more down there. Oh, nice. Happy accident there. A bunch of paint. What a happy accident. Scratch the paint by accident and looks pretty good. I like happy accidents. Okay. Where to next? Uh, I have. So. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to like paint some weathering in like corners just to give it some depth and some, you know, just some. I don't know what the word is. Andy can think of the word. I'm going to paint in some, just miss some of these corners. And what color is the back door? Back door? Well, that's going to be, that's just tape that was painted. Um, I have, it's clear plastic behind there. And then there's going to be a cool little um, door decorate, like door trim inside there that makes it look like, you know, the door. Um, let's paint that. Let's paint that little, little greebly on top there. Let's just get that. And maybe even those back there. While I have this dark reefer. Um, yeah, you're going to be able to see inside the armory from the back and from the top. Because the top, the cool shave is, is angled so that you can see uh, if you're not familiar with Cool Shade Carter, it's it has a it's louvered and it has an angle so you can see through it one direction, um, and that's the direction I have for and let's try to get the back steps a little bit. These little tread parts. I'm do that. Let's put it this way, and we might have to do one at a time, maybe. Let's we'll do one at a time because I'd like to keep that white in the center there. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna freehand it. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's not a panel. We're just gonna freehand it a little bit. But we do want to cover up this back step that we don't want getting gray at all. At all. Hopefully this is gray. That's the big thing. Turn the other direction and make sure we got it. The other direction too. So one edge isn't dark and the other edge is light. Yeah. Good. And I'm going to topically do all these little squares in here with a paintbrush on the door, on the door hand uh, sides. Okay. Yeah, so real light in the corners to just kind of highlight and give shadows. Uh, I'm just going to do those quickly. What do you think? Pretty good? Not bad. Get the tape off, get the tape off, get the tape off. <laughs> what? Yeah. All right. Just some, just some, uh, I'm going to start with the. The light, see if that works instead of going dark, dark right away. I always go over it then. Come on, right.
don't like using this for. I really don't like using this for weathering. Uh, really do. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, do I want to go over that? This kind of where you just go. You just you just do. You don't like think about it too much. Kind of like go. You don't go too far, but just kind of like okay. Uh, if you're not aware, I'm using ArchiveX, uh, Andy. Um, if you're not aware, uh, uh, excellent little um, weathering technique is just flicking the flicking the um, the trigger, and it just sends little specks out. I love doing that. Adds a lot, and um, it just it dirties it, and and um, sometimes even just putting it on and then drying it off gives it a light light um, speck like speckle looking splatter. Um, Let's see here. How else do we want to go? There. We want that too dark. We're going to paint that later. Right, I'm going to have to get underneath here later at some point, turn it upside down and do it. Don't really want to go too dark with my weathering because I want to. Keep it light because it's white. I don't want to go too heavy with weathering. I think you're right, Andy, about leaving it, leaving those uh, spots because it'll get, it'll blend in real good and turn out nice. Mm, all right, for now. And like I said, after I get done 
then I missed it. This darkness, because it's reefer, will turn slight bit of red, uh, blue, bluish tint to it. Um, some streaks. Sideways. Don't just go straight down. Sideways. You're streaking too. Come along. This this is like first of like five different layers I'm gonna do. You know, it's not just gonna be this color and that's it. Yes, no. Not bad. Four. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's do. Some angle. Stay hold over one here. Just some depth. Get to actually weather it later. Right now. And it looks a little stark right now. Like a little it's out. Did I, I did this? I didn't know it's shrieking up. Um but once you missed it at the end, it'll tie it all in together. Dirty back there. And then I'm trying to keep it relatively not because of the concept. I'm trying to keep it a little less weathered. Uh, okay. Try to do it in the direction like like it would fly. If you can. This is where you just freelance. 
I'll just go. I should bring up those better. You may go over some of these streak marks with a darker, with darker, uh, mark dark, um, to highlight them and with a brush, probably. Okay. Sometimes you just can't put too much thinking into it and just do it. Spring. There we go. There. Not a bad start. Uh, happy with that so far. Gotta go. I'll watch the rest of the stream later. Great stuff. Hey, see ya. Um, yeah. What's next? Um, get the nose and front here. And dirt marks going spreading out from the from the uh, greebly in the front there just so it a little bit of sprouter a little bit a little bit like I said splatter is fun all right I think good with the dark briefer. Let's, I don't know, I wanna, call, I wanna paint this something, but I don't really know what yet. Um, let's start with, let's do this. Just cover this so it don't get rain a lot. And we'll make this a couple different colors, or a couple different darks. We don't want to mess up some of the white. Oh, I didn't. Even, uh, I can't work on the bottom yet until I finish the top. Really. Oh shit. Right, please. I'm so worried about this little push fork on the top. I do not want that to break. Do not. That is so fragile. No, oh, right. Mm -hmm. Lots of tape. The one little part. Probably gonna paint something brown, gray, dark that I don't want to paint gray, dark. That's stupid little on the side. Let's 
Oh, Cobra. All right. I'll probably go over this darker. Right. I'll probably go over this a lot darker then. I don't think this is dark enough. I want it to be like, like a, dark like a, a rifle. I think I'm definitely going to have to use a different color for that. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm not going to use any more of that light paper. So I'm just going to clean this airbrush out quick. Um, So I can spray it with some dark lark. Yeah. It's sitting in there for a couple minutes, so hopefully I can just get it out quick. Spray. It goes now it's spraying. All right, a little bit of dark lark. Just a little. The vibrator. So long I've been doing this now. Uh, an hour. Really just mixing this all up just to spray this gun and that's it. So, And then I think I'm just going to do the little squares with some stormy sea um there's a couple little ones i want to do stormy sea see how that goes stormy sea yeah that goes um right okay so it's great i'm just gonna get this part and then it'll be the end for this thing I should try to get underneath too, maybe. Not spraying so good, so I'm gonna have to just get it as good as I can for now and then re clean this sucker out good. Because it's been sitting for a little while. Um a little more. Man, I do not want to break that pitchfork. Right. All that tape for that one little spot. And that got pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right. Uh, I think that's good for now. Um, probably just do these blue squares quick and then kind of think about what I want to do next. Um, try to add some rust lightly because rust will stand out a lot on this. Um, and it's a little bit more weathering not a whole lot more um just de detail weathering actually 
uh, just because I want it to not be too dark. I really don't. I'm not looking for dark. Over some of these. We're right in there. Trick to things looking really good is multiple layers, just different layers and layers of different colors. Even sometimes the same different, um, like light and dark lark, you know, sometimes it's just that, uh, I'm going to add li different layers of different colors. And, um, like I said, I, I want to look at this and think about this for a little bit before I do too much. Probably in the thing here and we'll come back. A little bit later when I've thought about what I want to do. I like this a little bit. Shit, I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of. And then this, 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 this airbrush is gone. So I'm going to fix that. Yeah, like even this, I can see a difference between the blacks. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit. I might re redo some more gray. I'm sure this is. Thanks, Andy. Uh, hopefully it's turned out okay so far. Got to add more layers, brother. A lot more layers. All right uh thanks for watching guys hopefully this was helpful again please just let me know in the comments if it's something you're enjoying if you should keep doing it what i should do because i'm really just doing this for you guys i'll be honest i could just paint this by myself in the in my in my garage here and get it done quick but kind of want to um give this kind of give this to other people to see so you know what i'm gonna do actually um got an idea that's an idea one airbrush is not working instead of taking all this time to clean it out i'll just pour my paint into the other one and use it because that is a different color a little dark but we're gonna, like i said we're gonna do we're gonna be very very frugal on how much dark we're going to go on this spots. It's down. Keep oh. my dark to a very, very, very minimum. You can even tell like the difference in the grays a little bit. I will add some multiple colors in the in the um, splatter on the back there. This is going to be brown and red and or not red, orange and. It's kind of like, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. Let's see. Yeah, I 
pull away on that. <laughs> I'll paint that and do that. Tape that and do that. Uh, to try to get in the middle a little bit darker. Let's do it. Book it. Let's do it. Book it. stuff you know you just kind of get an idea and just like all right let's just 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 try it doesn't have to be so planned out i don't know what color do those pipes yet on the back there um let's see whatever tickles my fancy all right so let's do one more i don't want that on never use black Almost never, because black is so stark and just very. Just gonna do individual ones. Yeah, that looks yeah, not bad. I'm gonna put one all the way across the front and then one in between. One all the way across the bottom. Some scene in the middle. It's a struggle to keep this everything clean. Really, I'm not like stepping over, like fumbling through everything. That's a real struggle. You should see my garage, right? My workbench right now. Because I have two big, bigger model projects going on, it's a disaster. It's literally a disaster. I got parts for this all over the place. Parts for the Falcon all over the place. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, I shouldn't take the balance. Keep that on. And just keep going over each rib. Got the paint. I don't want to waste it. And I don't even want that to be uniform either. I want it to be body. I think some people make the mistake of painting things completely solid. Bring it close to the can, man. Uh, let's see. Don't know if I can do that. If I do. I'm going to lose some angle. How's that? That's the best I can do for right now. I have another camera that I got to get set up and um, and try to that zooms. This does not zoom. Uh, this is just a, basically a webcam. I think there's a way to zoom it, but I don't know how to do that yet. So, sorry. That's kind of what I got. what I got. I need something to get that off. Knife. Andy, how are you watching me, man? You, you, you're a professional at this stuff. I'm just an amateur. Uh, Your stuff's killer, man. I watched your video. I think, honestly, I watched your video about 20 times. That might be why you have so many views on it. Wow. That video took off, brother. Like, it's it's got, it went, well, sort of viral. I don't know if that, that, that's considered viral or not, but it's a lot more views, a lot of views on that sucker. Because it's an awesome piece, man. That's that. Is it a little better, closer? Trying. I am going to try to hook up that other camera. It's a, it's a really good camera. I just, it's a pain to get 
on the stand and ready to go. I think I'm actually just going to spray the back ones dark because they're hidden and they're going to be dirtier than all the rest. Oh, 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 oh. Keep on there. That would be bad. That would be bad. Leave it on the inside. Maybe not. All right. Like that. Yeah. Not bad. It's just a little subtle difference. Not real. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. Can you see it on camera? Nope, a little bit, but it just gives a little extra. Oh, we should definitely do make sure all that liquid mask is out of there before I go painting. I got big white spots before it should be darker. I think I got it all. Nope, see right there. Yep. I'll muck that up. Yes, I did. Make it darker. really don't want to go very dark. I really, 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 really don't. In fact, I may stop with this dark. Well, I'm going to get these other ribs first and then stop with this dark, dark, dark mark. Um, and go in with some, some lighter, lighter um, weathering before I really get into the dark stuff. Dark stuff's going to be very minimal. So... One. Any, thank you so much for recommending I keep those spots that I wasn't happy with because now I don't even see them. And save me about a couple hours worth of work. Um, and I don't have, I didn't redo it, which I probably would have done. Knowing myself, I would have done and been annoyed that I painted it twice. It's a good angle. Let's see if I can bring this closer this way. Maybe. That's a little better. I got to move my light up top too here. Um, I love to know who else is in there. Uh, there's a couple people. Um, I got Andy and if there's anybody else there, please let me know. Let's see. I'd love to see who's listening. Hour and 15 minutes. Bro. Rich. 15. Let's get the other stuff. Get some other stuff. Anybody else lose stuff all the time? Like me? There you are. Andy, what's next after the tanks? We got mine. 
I'm game. I missed that. I missed all that weather around there. I missed all of it with the dark reaper. I missed all of it. And I don't want to go in with dark, dark. Too much. Too much. Trying to think, other than the tanks, Andy, like I would love to have a um, concept snow speeder like yours, but the Y wing body. Hey, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Hey, Jacob. Hey, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Um, Karimon. Karimon. Um. I know you know which one I'm talking about. The the Y Wing body uh snow speeder. Oh, that'd be banging. I've always wanted one of those. Thought about scratching some one myself, but I really also am getting more and more and more interested in a um scratching my scratching a TIE fighter. I did get the ball sport the plaster ball halves blows i'm just i'm actually stunned at how big they are um they're pretty big i i really want to do one i just i need to find cool shade um uh, i know it's not cheap but i gotta find it um uh, for a decent, at least relatively decent price. I know it's going to be expensive, but I need to find it. Heat strip. It's probably an easier way to do this. It's, um, uh, no, you know what? If I was doing the outside, it'd be easy just to put like some, some pinstripe tape inside, in the, in the inside of the ribs. A couple more, and I think I'm gonna jump ship and do some blue stormy sea. Hmm. Good. I have to two piece it. I'd love to know what Carter does for a living where, where he was listening to this while he's at work. <laughs> I'd love to know what he does. I should have asked him that he could sit and watch this. And we're going to go, we're just going to go blast down the bottom, blast back there. So the rest is going to be darker. Try to get it, not get it on the edges, not get it on the I don't want to take that cool shade off, the tape off the cool shade so I can see what it looks like. I really do. 
but I'm not going to. All right. A little more weathering over here with this dark because I did it on the other side. No one, guys. Come on. This here's me just really. I'm always worried I'm going to grab the wrong part and snap something off. That sucks. So, we really didn't touch upon the top much, actually. Shield. The other side. Yeah, baby. It's gonna be really cool when I spray the 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 gray misting at the end. It'll tie it all together. I really want to add some. All right, Stormy Sea. Where can I put Stormy Sea? Think about it. Um, want some blue? Spots. I love these greeblies behind these these openings. I know you can't see them, but eventually will. Another tank coming soon. Then some of Nilo's designs. I think the 124 concept speeder with a Y wing may look uh, look may already be coming from one of the models. Yeah, they were. T they've been talking about it. Um, they did a um, what's the name of it? The uh, Kickstart funder. Um, for the four different versions of it, uh, they have a bunch of things ahead of that. So hopefully they get to it. They may, they may not. Um, but I like that one. All right, so just a little more flatter of darkness here. They may even go on and do a little bit of chipping with a with a uh, sponge. 
because um, I did that with the um, ATST, and it turned out great. Uh, I used white and brown, not brown, yeah, brown and gray, and white and uh, rust, and it like turned out really good. So, kind of just to add some more, like I said, more colors. The more colors you got, the better. Let's just just add a bunch. Okay. Storm is Let's dump that. Clean it. I think I'm going to have to clean this sucker out pretty good. Because I don't. Oh, we have dark stuff. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to put that. Uh, I even just like missed this part with some stormy sea. Just to get some blue into it. I don't know how it's going to turn out. We'll try. Once it's going to hurt. A tint of blue in there. Getting too dark. It's getting too brown and too try to make it cool a little, a little cool again. Hopefully this works. Hopefully. Just real thin. Alright. Hope that'll ruin this. This is just kind of off the cuff. I just want to add it in there somehow. I like the color. It's imperial. Just a tint. All right, we got to tape that up. Just a few it. A little tint of it. Hopefully, I don't regret this. I don't think I will. Never. Just a tip. Just the tip. And we gotta put some that look too. Don't want blue down here. Do not. Although, let's say it would be horrible. Let's say it would be horrible just to add some blue to it. All right, here we go. Hmm. Pretty good, actually. It's the misting. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm liking it. It was blue at some point and kind of faded. Huh. A little too far, though. 
go too far. We'll be good. Ah, oh, damn tape. Just one sec. Some bitch. I think it would. It's not. What do you think? More? What do you think? More? Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Uh, that probably wasn't the best idea. <laughs> Well, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it's different than that now. So I got to do that. But I do like it. I don't know if you guys can see the blue in it. Now I got to do it on the other ones. Oh, I do like that. I really do, actually. All right. Done deal. It's got to be done. I like that a lot, actually. So we're going with it. Yeah, baby. Fold it. Slide it in. Set it. I really am happy with that, actually. That was a trial that I wasn't sure about, but it worked. Most of the time, those experiments don't go well for me. That one did. That gave the other, what's funny is, okay, so what that did was it made this white look more blue now. Not blue, but like cooler. Whereas where it was getting weathered, it was getting to be a warmer brown. But since I added that, it got cool, like, like a cooler blue, like a cooler white. I like it. That's working good, actually. Come on, work. Edges, corners, bottom. The whole thing. There we go. Man, I like that. I don't know if you can see that. that hey, look. That turned out good. That makes me happy. All right, so we're just going to do a little square in the middle here on this thing. And do a little square here. Can't see it now. Hmm. Can't see it. I need a light. Much more imperial. Yes, yes. Much nicer with the blue. Almost a TS32 kind of tie look to it. On my yes, it gives it a tie fighter kind of look. I like it. That blue really changed the whole thing. It changed the entire look of the whole. Hank. Really happy with it. Let's see if I can just get this. Let's see that. Oh. There you are. Oh, I'll leave that there. There. And. 
That blue definitely made a big difference. Just that little misting of the squid of the panel made a humongous difference. You're right, and it does look TIE fighter ish. Really happy. Just using the light here to see where I can get this, how I can get this little square here. It's really faint because of the paint. It's hard to see. I can even add some blue triangles around, sort of like you did, Andy, with the red ones. It's amazing what layers though like that's a whole bunch of different that's three different grays that square real dark Yeah. Okay. See? Can you see it? No, nope, you can't see that. But it's there. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with that. Damn, I'm happy with that. I wasn't planning on that. It freaking worked. Not, I'm going to keep these gray up top. I'm not going to do those in blue. I'm not going to do those. But these two, yes. The little ones up top. I might add something blue on top. So, oh, the, the little square there is definitely going to be blue. In the, um, in the uh, patch, that's for sure. I don't think there's anything else I want to add on top of it. No. Less is more. Okay. So here we go again. Peek. And I'm so glad I did that. So happy I did that. So like I said, I didn't have a clear cut picture in mind. Like I was a little unsure of what I wanted to do, but and you know what, Andy? That um, that these spots that I left—they're almost bluish. They almost look bluish gray. They're really just black with white over top. But um, it looks a blue even more. It brings, it helps these these blue panels as well. Triangle marked all the res access points and all the others have hidden meanings as well, like it matters really. Hmm. Okay. It's good to know. It's good to know. Maybe I'll think of something different than triangles. Let's see. I like, uh, oh, you know what? Like, I like Slave One. It has a bunch of little, um, whole bunch of little uh, hash marks. Not hash marks, but like small rectangles. Um, that might be something to think about. Little small rectangles. Barely noticeable, but and faint. And if they're there. Right. This top tape's a pain in the butt. Alright, so I'm gonna do this and I think I'm gonna stop the stream. Oh wow. 
Bunny. Let's mix it up a little bit so it's not set. Okay, sorry about that. Here we go. Mist, mist, edges. Bottom there, Yeah, baby. And a tiny bit more. Yeah, I take the most stay there. Yes. Hmm. I did that on purpose. All right. Uh, on this side. I haven't been able to do... This is like the first piece that I've done for myself for quite a while. Uh, I'm trying to think. Well, okay, I take that back. No, I'm sorry. The Macquarie X-Wing was I did for myself. I forget all about that. Um, but, like, I don't know. I haven't really been... I don't really buy collectibles anymore. I'm just so focused on building stuff with my hands. I'm not so much into, you know, I figured it out. Okay. Um, when I buy a collectible, it comes in a package. It's beautiful. It's great. It's awesome. But then after I put it on the shelf, I was like, okay, what's next? And you just, you just kind of lose after you buy, get so many pieces like that. That's not going in the way I want it to. Um, kind of loses its luster like i i have some really great stuff in my basement but um i barely ever look at it um i mean regal robots amazing stuff and i had the maquettes and just they were just kind of sitting there and they weren't they weren't really special to me anymore you know like like my ranker and my salacious chrome and my chewbacca are they're awesome and I'll never get rid of them. But I don't know. I just don't want to open things and put them on my shelf anymore. I haven't bought a hot toy all year. Like, this is what made me think about this. Uh, Hyperdrives, um, uh, weekly, I forget what they call it, like weekly um, tagline. I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember what you call it. But it was best pickup of 2023 and literally i have only two things from all of the year of 2023 i have this and also my 
McCory X Wing. That's all I have. I haven't bought any other collectibles. I have not bought a hot toy. I have not bought a, uh, a, a collectible that I kept. I haven't co collected, kept any of that. But this fascinates me. This, like, I'll look at this tons of times. I'll look at my Slave One, which, by the way, uh, <laughs> Bob Ross show. <laughs> I guarantee you, Bob Ross is probably way more interesting than I am. Um, but like, I I look at my models and and other people's models, like like John's and Lee Ralph's and um, mostly John's, and uh, also I have uh, Eaton. Um, Death Star Tower down there. Uh, and that's all I want. I want I want to do work on this. And I want to... I really want to get more, more models from other people. Um, just to see... I love seeing how they make things. And I love seeing their um, techniques. Especially, you know, John. Because, honestly, John's probably... The best painter I've come across on this stuff. Like I, I'm biased. He's my friend, but this his his work is like far. Enough. I'm sorry. Like no offense to anybody else, but John's John's paint is just insane. Andy, I'm really happy with this blue. Holy crap, am I happy with this blue? Oh, shit, that's perfect. All right. Oh, I love that. All right, one more blue square for now. And I think this stream went on way too long. <laughs> Two hours. Cannot believe anybody would want to watch me paint. I really can't. Square. Well, I can see this one real good. See that one's pretty different, but yes. Hi. Sorry, no sound. I had to. My son came in. I was talking to him. Oh, I can feel I'm already going to have a headache later. All right. Let me get the top of yeah, baby. Let's do the top blue quick. Wish I'd have made. You know what? Um, should I make those slightly blue? Yes, should. Happy little trees, Andy. Happy little trees. Right? Oh, 
Do I want to do that? I'm going to dwell on that for a minute. I don't know. Sure. I'm not 100% sure I want to do that. But I want to get this little one on the hatch. So we're going to angle it this way. I think I might be ready to take that off. No, because I want to paint these pipes. I don't know when I want to paint them yet. I gotta figure that out. I don't really want to do rust like colored pipes. I think I'm at a point where I need to like kind of stop and think about what I want to do next. After I get this. I have rambled on way too long. But if I stop, then I will pick it up till later. I would love to get this done. Um, Uh, I think those will stay gray. That will be good. Yes. All right. Awesome. Okay, I think I need to stop. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, actually, it's 12 o'clock. I can't believe it's 12 o'clock already. So, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, this was interesting. And uh, I'll pick it up more later. Ciao.